Welcome to Success at Scale, the podcast that covers business stories from experienced entrepreneurs, startup founders, uh, and how to translate business ideas into business results. I'm your host, Greg Stein, and today we're going to talk about getting back to NAM 2022 with Mr. Jordan Rudis, multi-instrumentalist, Grammy Award winning, dream theater traveling uh you know, there's so much to talk about we'll get into it in a minute costa lacamentis this guy is an industry icon he's done it all and i am so super happy to have him here with us and and kita matthew she is part of triple g uh she is driving the bus forward and oh my goodness we have the leaders uh, of the now of the future oh my god this is going to be amazing so without further ado welcome to you guys thank you so much for joining us now jordan rudis you are over somewhere traveling in outer space on tour right now. And you took out your time to talk with us. Where are you at? What are you doing? You're exactly right. I am in outer space. It <laughs> you looks like a spaceship that. over there. <laughs> That's It is a spaceship. That's right. I'm just traveling around the orbit here. I'm just doing the whole thing. It's getting a nice perspective, nice view. I'm trying to conceptualize a larger view. So when we go into NAM with all these amazing products, we can totally present them the way they need to be gloriously presented. So that's what it is. I'm actually in Oslo, Norway. Uh, I'm about three quarters of the way, I guess, through this Dream Theater tour. Uh, tomorrow's our show in Oslo. We had the very rare occasion today of a day off, which was amazing. And uh, it was great. So I got to fly my spaceship around a little bit and just kind of chill. Pretty awesome. Now, uh, you just uh, won a Grammy Award, right? Did that just happen? Did I dream that? I did. <laughs> oh, I let the cat out of the bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, Dream Theater won a Grammy Award. Uh, of course, um, I'm in that group. If you didn't know, it's called Dream Theater. Two words, Dream and Theater. Amazing. And uh, we're all very excited. Yeah, we put out the song in 17-8 time. And I don't know, it hypnotized people. And all of a sudden, we got a grammy we're, we're all buzzing about it because we've always been a band that does what we want to do and to um you know really do the kind of music that we've always wanted to do and it won a grammy so what can you what can you say it's awesome and uh yeah it's a big a big buzz well, you're you're here with this team that you're going to be spending uh, quite a few days with at Nam uh, Costa. You know, tell us about you know what it's going to be like at Nam. What, what what should we expect? Well, you know, after two years of absence from Nam, it's almost kind of hard to conceptualize that we're all going to be getting together again like the before times, and we're going to congregate and we're going to talk to people and whatnot. I like probably like you, well, maybe not Jordan. He's, he's, he's still touring throughout everything, no matter what's going on. He's, he's in his spaceship touring, but right. I, I am so tired of just being, you know, cloistered in one small space and talking to people over video. I want to get back to the fun and the excitement that is Nam. And yeah, it's serious business. Yes. We go there to do business, but the vibe of that show is like nothing else in our industry. And uh, I, I, for one, am starved for that. So I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, likewise, man. And and Keita, you just graduated from Berklee College of Music over in Valencia, right? And and this is going to be your first NAM show. So a totally different perspective. What, yeah. what, what are you looking forward to? I think I'm just super excited to see what ev everything comes to like fruition. I'm excited to see the new products. I'm excited to see new technology. I mean, just excited to see it all happen on the show floor. I've heard so much about it. I just can't wait to see it all unveiled right up at the show floor. I think that's what I'm pumped about the most. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So now we have, we've created this, Triple G has created this innovation hub uh, at NAM, and, and we are getting back to NAM, as Costa said, this is a big moment. But Jordan, there's a lot of brands, a lot of products, man. Uh, tell us about some of the things that that you might be uh, demoing or, or sharing. Well, it's honestly pretty mind blowing the synchronicity of all this. Well, first of all, you and I have known each other for a while. We've worked on cutting edge products and had a good time and obviously bonded and have some synchronicity, but the synchronicity has reached an entirely new, almost hard to believe level. It's crazy. You, you can't even like describe it. And, you know, we can talk about the products that, that we're representing at 
Triple G. And how we got there is, is an amazing story and probably a podcast all on its own about how this all happened. But um, uh, totally, it really is. But OK, so let's start off with the pocket piano. The pocket piano is um, a pretty new company. It's an instrument that I checked out a while ago and got involved with and then got you involved with. And we've been really excited and working on this. It's with a, a, a company out of Spain. Um, it's a vision that uh, I share with the, with the developer, with the owner of Pocket Piano, about how every pianist, every keyboard player can walk around with their backpack and have an 88 note keyboard. It's amazing. And so we're gonna be showing uh, just what this new instrument can do. Um, the vision of it is that not only is it an 88 note keyboard controller, but it's also an instrument that when you plug it in, it has what I consider the most beautiful piano sound that's possible in the digital world built into it. That was kind of like the vision to make it a really smooth keyboard, totally portable, have a great piano sound. And that's what we're gonna show. And uh, yeah, pocket piano going to be awesome. Oh, gonna be awesome. Um, let's see. In addition to that, we're doing, we're working with a company called um, Moises. Moises just won uh, or just got the U.S. app of the day, uh, which number is one. amazing. Number one. Number one. Wow. So I don't know. I'm, I must have good luck or something like that. I reached out to the guys at Moises, let's say four months ago, three months ago. And I said, hey, I really like what you guys are doing. I think I could really help. I'm turned on by this. Let me let me be involved. Let me help you. And they were excited to uh, to start a relationship. And then um, we kind of brought it together in our synchronous ways. And now we have Moises uh, at the booth. It's amazing. They do great stuff. Their specialty is in track separation, which basically means that they have an incredible algorithm for figuring out from a single audio file how to separate the vocal, how to separate the drums, the bass. They're working on piano. It's incredible. It's a miracle. When you tell musicians about this and then you show them the way Moises does it, they're freaking out. They had no idea that this was possible. So what separates Moises above the competition is that it not only does the track separation, which is you're starting to see that pop up a little bit here and there, but we're also thinking about things like, okay, pitch and time. Yeah, track separation, but let's slow it down without changing the pitch, which change the, the pitch without changing the time. And then also um, chordal recognition. And the ability to do things like I think we're going to show like some ability to like loop certain sections. So it's a real like, you know, uh, musicians learning tool, as well as kind of this little miracle tool that does incredible things with your audio. So uh, let's see. And beyond that, we are uh, introducing. Let me get a <clears throat> voice. Introducing. Together. Black, Drum roll, please. Black BT. Sounds like a new uh, action movie or something like that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm online to get my tickets for that, actually. So, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So uh, it's coming at things in, the, in the maybe a slightly more subtle way because pedal technology, you know, has been the same for a long time. And the people at Black BT, the reason that we're excited to work with them is they decided to kind of take that and say, you know what, there's more you can do with a pedal. Guitarists use pedals, keyboard players use pedals. Everybody likes and uses pedals because you want to keep your hands busy so black bt has the next level cutting edge kind of pedal that's a continuous pedal that's a switch pedal that uses the accelerometer that we're going to be able to do some amazing stuff so really excited to show that uh and to turn musicians on to that because i think it's going to open up some creative doors once they understand what that's all about um, and finally, you know, I'm going to be working with the Artiphone guys that uh, will be represented at the booth. The Artiphone Orba is uh, the Orba oh, is, is awesome. There it is. There, there, oh, there it is. Space, my Orba. <laughs> yeah, it's got one of the best uh, touch surfaces on it. You can literally take your finger and roll your finger around with the sound and it responds so beautifully. It's really pretty incredible. And everybody I show that to is like, wow, this is a, this is a really like high-end touch interface, but it's made to be an instrument that appeals to everybody. So it's my kind of thing because it's a combination of very powerful and cutting edge, but it also brings something to, you know, a large population of people that just want to make music. So that's a great concept. That's kind of like what I think about all the time, like in the apps that I do with Wisdom 
music and everything. How do you bring more people into the music making space, right? While offering something that is cutting edge and that makes professionals think, oh my God, wow, that's so cool. Never thought about that. Yeah. So I think that they really, you know, are in that space. So that's, again, another synchronous thing that they're actually part of your world, not part of my world. And we're, we're, we're revolving around the same planet. I'm in my spaceship here, you know, driving it around this planet. And I always see you like right there, kind of in your little uh, ship also, uh, you know, spinning around the planet. So it's really cool. We've got a, We've got an incredible, uh, you know, amount of fun that we're going to have at NAMM. I think this is an incredible moment, not just for all of us on on this call, but I think for music technology in in general, right? And creativity. Like, think about this, Jordan. Right? You know, when you were when you were a young guy, I, I've seen some pictures of you, a young young kid, maybe sitting at a piano. One. Right. And, and uh, right. when you were young, like you didn't have all these tools and toys and all this technology. This is just such a, an incredible moment for music and technology. It's amazing. I mean, I, you know, I was a classical pianist up until the age of like 19, basically, when I decided when I finally decided, you know what, I got to veer off this path. And the reason I did is because the first time I played a mini Moog and I turned the knob at the same time as I hit a key, my brain, I just felt my brain expanding. It was a whole different thing. And I realized there were two almost like sections of my mind. One was the acoustic section, which is cool. And then one was the electric section which has to do with playing something and then the sound is changing while you're holding the key and you're changing the pitch and the filter and all these things and i was like oh my god i can't ignore this this is too good so i've been you know participating in the development of these you know instruments and this technology all along showing you know really cool stuff but also as a kind of vision person consultant to these companies to help push the whole thing uh you know and support this movement which is you know, it's really, really exciting. Every day I wake up and think, oh my God, what kind of amazing toys, you know, and expressive devices am I going to be playing with today? It's cool. It's one of the things that just keeps me really rolling and, and allows me to have the kind of like schedule and, you know, and work commitments that I have because I love this stuff. It's, it's the best. Yeah, it's it's a passion, right? And it's it's an exciting moment for sure. And uh, you know, Costa and Kita, you know, I think what we've designed here is a way to bring everything that Costa's talking uh, that Jordan's talking about and bringing that to to everyone at, at the show, right? So, we've got a setup where we're going to have all the brands that you just mentioned from Artifon to Black BT to Moises, uh to even a few others too, uh Pocket Piano uh, even Skoog is going to be there in the education space uh, and a few others as as well. I mean, ASI audio, it's, it's an exciting moment. And I think we've designed a space that really is conducive to innovation. Uh, yeah. So Costa, you want to talk about that? Well, it, it, you're, you're right on, on both counts. So first off, the space is laid out in a way where it's really dedicated to performance space, demo space, and PA. And that's it. There's no superfluous displays or other stuff to trip over. So it's really conducive to people getting in, getting close to the instruments, you know, trying them out, talking to the Moises, for example. You know that you're talking about that, Jordan, that app. It's just I've got it on my phone. I can't stop yeah. running tracks through it to see. No, I will never do it on this book. <laughs> right, right, it's like so it. cool. But uh, we've got that space set up that way. But also we've got the schedule set up in a way where. I mean, I don't know how you roped Jordan into this. Maybe it was a magic potion or something like that. But well, it has to do with space and time. <laughs> yeah, but he's in the booth like half the time and doing demos and 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 whatnot, working his magic. And and the rest of the time, it's all playing with the instruments. So it's really all about music. This is this is not one of those things where you show up in the stand and everybody's in suits and ties and you know wondering how big an order you're going to write. This is about introducing launching and 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 getting people excited about these new cool instruments and um and meeting the founders of those companies which is another great vibe right you get to meet the people who actually had these ideas and then got themselves in motion to realize them you know this whole 
I, I mean, Jordan touched on it. You know, you're you're a product guy. I mean, you're clearly a musician, but a product guy. I can see that because you're passionate about products. Well, you get to meet more people like that uh, from from uh, uh, Satish and uh, everybody who's involved with these products. Uh, it's super exciting. So I, I'm 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 just elated. I'm excited about it. I mean. I've been going to NAM for many, many, many years, and I've been managing NAM shows for many years. I even, I think I told you, Greg, I spent a million dollars on NAM one year with a company bless, that I was with. God bless. A million dollars. But you know what? This is more exciting to me than any of those other big shows. You know, we had 6,400 square feet of, of space years ago. This is more exciting to me to be in a booth where it's all about the music and, uh, yeah, I'm just so looking forward to it. Yeah, and 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 Kita, you're you're flying in from from Spain for this, um, and it's going to be uh, and it's your first show ever. You're hearing all of this, right? You you're graced with uh, you know meeting Jordan Rudis here today, right? And we're all going to be together. I mean, I, I'm just so uh, interested to know like what what is the thing that you're like just most excited about going going to the show. I think, I mean, the products, of course, the technology, definitely. I think meeting people, I think like Costa mentioned earlier, it's like everyone's getting together in a room again. I mean, I've been in class, but it's been with masks, without masks, but, you know, we're all going to be in a space. We're going to be able to interact. I think ideas are going to flow. I think musicians are going to make something really cool together. I think it's just the whole energy and vibe is going to be really cool. I think that's what I'm looking most forward to, the whole the difference in energy that's going to come together. I guess the synergy that's mm. going to come out of that space, that's what I'm going to look forward to the most, I guess. That's awesome. Well, uh, guys, I, I I can't thank you enough, all of you, for for taking the time to uh, to join us. Uh, hey, Jordan, just you know, before we kind of wrap this up, I'm I'm curious, you know, where where can people find out more about you know the tour, where you're going to be, where can they find out more about you? Um, yeah, check you out. Yeah, I mean, that thanks, man. The best place to find out about me is is really jordanrudis.com because it has all the tour dates. It has everything I'm doing. It has uh, my solo dates, which are happening actually starting right after the NAMM show. I'm playing in Seattle and uh, Portland. So, uh, yeah, there's no rest for the weary. And there's a lot of inspiration for me to keep doing this. And, uh, and one of the, you know, big kind of like moments of this whole thing that we're all kind of projecting towards is being at this NAMM show and showing these products and having everybody in the room and just letting the whole thing kind of like uh, explode. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and meeting all you guys there and uh, having a good time. Awesome. Well, Jordan, thank you again for joining us. And Kita, uh, Costa, thank you both. Uh, we, we couldn't be more excited for what's to come. We will see you all at the NAM show. Get back to NAM 2022. Uh, we'll be together and we'll be rocking it, having a grand old time. We will be at Triple G booth 10107 and uh, it'll be a blast. Until we see you there, you guys all be safe. Have fun out there and... Peace. Rock on.